Welcome Curiel and crypto enthusiasts, Michael Strike, aka Strike Attack. Welcome back to your official quantum resistant ledger channel, your video portal into pulse quantum digital asset security. Today we're gonna go over the advantages of running a node on the network. In a follow up video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step different ways to get you started, but let's go over some of the fundamentals first. Okay, so what's a node in the first place? A node is a service that runs on a server or any computer that can be run by anyone with internet access and minimal hardware in order to support the network through validating or rejecting submitted transactions and then relaying those results to other nodes through a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. This is fundamentally different than mining or simply owning a wallet and that you are actually part of the network. Miners perform the work to solve problems and nodes approve or deny their submissions. In other words, nodes, had, nodes have a direct vote on what is approved to be written to the blockchain. So it's also worth mentioning that mining is generally referred to when talking about proof of work algorithms, such as kryptonite, which the goal is to cryptographically solve difficult puzzles. If your node happens to find a proof of work solution, it keeps the entire reward. In proof of stake, instead of miners, there are validators. The, validator, the validators will stake or lock up their crypto in the blockchain, and while the rules on how rewards are given are different from implementation to implementation, the more staked generally means a higher reward. As you know, one of the core values of blockchain is decentralization. If you use a pool, you're relying on them to not only be available and online, but also to properly relay your transactions to the network. But if you run your own QRL node, you don't need anybody, except other nodes to submit your transactions and the transaction of others, which reduces your overall counterparty risk. Many of us have also heard of the concept of zero trust or trustless consensus. In crypto land, running a node is a little bit analogous to a declaration of crypto sovereignty. While you're still a part of the network, you're acting on your own behalf and taking an active role in pioneering blockchain technology forward. Running a node also makes you an active participant in the project, giving you the ability to vote into what eventually gets irrefutably written into the blockchain. So let's go over any potential disadvantages. You'll need some technical expertise on how to spin one up, but I'm going to walk you through it in a future video. As of right now, the disk space requirements are pretty low, under 10 gig. Also, if you do mine from your node, you won't get the trickle of quanta like you would from mining to a pool. But think of how great it will be when you find your first block and get the first reward and decide to tell all your friends. Well, maybe not that last part. Depending on your perspective, this could also be an additional advantage. Uh, you'll need a computer to run the node on, but this can be accomplished using VMs, simple computers, background processes, and many other different ways. Okay, so you've got your node up and running, now what? The QRL online web wallet, downloadable wallet, and mobile wallet can connect to a custom node. If you do have your own node, it's recommended that you use one of those options to connect it to your node's internal IP address. Connecting from the online web wallet to your external IP address will probably fail unless you have network address translation configured on your firewall, which comes with a whole different list of security considerations. And that's it. If you want to get started right now, be sure to visit docs.duckurl.org. If you want a quick startup guide on this topic, be sure to check out the Docker node that's listed on the website. If you have more questions, feel free to join our active QRL community on Discord. Thanks for watching, and be sure to keep an eye out for the next video in which we'll walk you through step-by-step step on spinning up a note for yourself. Take care and thank you.